हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रवीण वर्मा फ्रॉम आदर्श विद्या मंदिर माउंट आबू टूडेज ओवर टॉपिक इज नॉर्मलिटी एंड फॉर्मेलिटी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव जस्ट एक्सप्लेन द कंसेंट्रेशन यूनिट्स एंड वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द मोलेटी टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द नॉर्मेलिटी एंड देन फॉर्मेलिटी नॉर्मेलिटी it may be defined as the number of gram equivalents of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution so the unit is gram equivalent per liter or this is expressed by capital n we can calculate the normality by following formulas the first formula you can see normality is equal to gram equivalents of solute divided by volume of solution second normality is equal to w upon e into 1 by v where v is volume of solution in liter and you know w that is the mass of solute in gram and e it is equivalent weight of solute so here w by e is gram equivalent if we are given the mass of some solute and we know the equivalent weight when we divide that given mass by equivalent weight we get the gram equivalents if the volume of the solution is given in ml we use this formula that is normality is equal to w upon e into 1 by v in ml milliliter into 1000 so we have to convert the volume that is in ml liter into liter you can see all the terms here Uh, now the question arises what is equivalent weight it may be new for you you all have studied about the atomic mass or atomic weight of any element so if we know the atomic mass of any element we can find out the equivalent weight by following formula so the equivalent weight of any element is equal to atomic mass of that element divided by its valency for example if we have the oxygen so atomic mass of oxygen is 16 amu so it is divided by its valency 2 so it is 8 that is the equivalent weight of oxygen similar way in chlorine that is 35.5 divided by 1 is equal to 3.5 so 35.5 is equal weight of chlorine now silver is again one bit uh, as the atomic mass is 108 divided by 1 when is valency of silver uh, for hydrogen it is 1 1 by 1 is equal to 1 so basically the equivalent weight is number of parts of uh, that particular element which uh, displace the eight part of oxygen or 35.5 part of chlorine or 108 part of silver or one part of hydrogen or combine the same parts such as eight part of oxygen uh, 35.5 part of chlorine 108 part of silver or one part of hydrogen that is the definition of equivalent weight otherwise you just learn this formula you can find out the equivalent weight of any element now most important thing for us is how can we calculate the equivalent weight of uh, acid and base so for acid first thing you know uh, the substance which gives h plus ions in the aqueous solution are acid so uh, you see this reaction hcl gives h plus and cl minus so it is a acid so if uh, Uh, we have the hcl so it releases the h plus ion by this equation you can understand so the number of h plus ions which are released by any acid is called its basicity so if we know the basicity of any acid we can find out the equivalent weight so the formula is equivalent weight of acid is equal to molecular mass divided by its basicity that is number of h plus ions released so first example i have taken hcl so the molar mass of hcl you know that is 
and the valency is 1 so that is 36.5 similar way if you take the h2so4 two h plus ions are released so the equivalent weight is 98 upon 2 98 is molecular mass of h2so4 so the equivalent weight is 49 for oxalic acid that is the oxalic acid the basicity is again 2 these two h plus ions are released these are water molecules don't take the water molecules uh, for uh, basicity okay so the equivalent weight is 126 upon 2 is equal to 63 so 126 here it is molecular mass of this oxalic acid now similar way if we have the base so for base you know the substance which release the OH negative ion in aqueous solution is called base so for example NOH it release one OH negative ion so the number of OH negative ion which are released by a ball it's uh, it's acidity so in the case of the uh, in the case of the NOH the acidity is 1 ok and similar way if you take the barium hydroxide the acidity is 2 numerical you can see we have here 8 gram N is dissolved in 250 ml of water calculate normality of the solution so the given things are data you can see uh, the mass of NOH is 8 gram volume that is 250 ml okay and the molecular mass of NOH or equivalent weight of NOH is 40 we will already calculated so the normality will be equal to W upon E into 1 by V into 1000 so 8 by 40 into 1 by 250 into 1000 so the answer is 0 0.8 capital N that is the answer you can see the whole numerical now next thing what is formality next concentration unit the number of gram formula mass of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution is called formulate generally formality is not used only when the solute particles associate uh, in a particular solvent then we use the formality for example I have taken this uh, uh, these two acetic acid molecules are associated by H bond so if you see the single molecule the molecular mass is 60 but when these two molecules combine to form this type of dimer so the formula mass is 120 the, uh, the formality can be calculated by following formula you can see formality is equal to W upon M dash into 1 by V in liter so here W is the mass of solute given mass and M dash that is the formula mass for suppose you take the acetic acid and form the dimer so the formula mass is 120 here and the V is volume in liter and if volume is not given in liter it is given in ml then you can use this formula that is formality is W upon M dash into 1 by V in ml into 1000. Thank you.